The fervent voice of Ugandan priest John Zenyondo has gone quiet in his old parish in the Mexican town of Nehapa. His body was found in a mass grave in October, six months after he was abducted in broad daylight while preaching against drug gangs. His parishioners in Guerrero State remember a man who stood for reconciliation. He was a very peaceful man, calm, who understood people, who always made an effort to understand them. He grasped things and helped a lot. The 55-year-old missionary spoke out sharply about gang violence until he too became a victim, one of tens of thousands of people killed since 2006. Some believe he was murdered for refusing to baptize a gang member's son. Others mentioned conflict with a town official linked to drug trafficking. I'm not afraid to die for speaking the truth. I know those who harmed him are here because he reprimanded them like a prophet, and prophets often die for calling out the wicked. He lost his life because he denounced evil. The priest who swapped Uganda's hills for Mexico's mountains died in the same state where 43 students were kidnapped and allegedly massacred in September. Preachers say they are targets of gangs who feel threatened by their criticism. The priest has been attacked. They knew he was a priest and that is why they attacked him. That shows we are living in a very difficult situation. Attacks on clergymen have happened elsewhere in the country. Two priests were killed in the eastern state of Veracruz this month and another vanished in Tamaulipas in the northeast. Mexico's Episcopal Conference last week sharply condemned the bloodshed as protesters fed up with brutal killings take to the streets.